focus regarding the schematic preparation in Eagle Cat. In the first class, we have seen how to download Eagle Cat in the Autodesk website. In the second class, we have seen the basics introduction to the Eagle Cat environment. In the class three, we have seen circuit dis designing and simulation waveforms and uh, we will discuss the continuation part so we will use the same circuit which we have simulated in the last circuit so that we will see schematic preparation of uh, the ac to dc voltage conversion so i'll open eagle cat so eagle cat control panel go to eagle cat control panel in the control panel you have an option called file go to file select the new and click on the schematic section so i'll just click on the schematic section one window will open so if you clearly absorb this windows path is somewhere it is a very different path so we have to choose our own path so i'll just click on the save button first so go to file or save or directly you can click on the save icon or you can go for control s as a shortcut control s so i'm going to click on save ask you the location where to save it so I'll go to desktop so to training classes so I will select and I'll create one schematic here so click on the schematic I will just say I just rename it to schematic click on save now so this I saved in the desktop one of the folder in the desktop if you now we change the path so it is in the desktop class schematic dot socch socch means schematic file so now we are going to observe a uh, black screen this black screen is an area where we need to develop our schematic so before developing the schematic we will have uh, some frame we will add the frame from it so you have many options here like info show group so we'll discuss each and every options from here so this is a schematic page schematic page it's in black color if you want to change it to white background so you can go to options user interfaces inside the user interface is even option called for layout for schematic if the schematic in the schematic section in the schematic section so if you observe uh, this is a background so background has black has been selected so white and color is not selected if you want white you can click on white and click ok so the background color will be white so, so now you can observe the mouse pointer it's a small uh, marker so if you want to change it you can change it here if the cursor mark is small you can if you want you can go for the large option so it will cover the entire screen this is the origin so i'll bring it back to small so the association we'll discuss it later so first we are going to add frame so i'll go to add part in the section uh, in the icon section if you see here you have got an option called add part so i'm going to click on add part so when i click on add part so eagle cat library file will open eagle cat library file will open so these are the eagle cat pre uh, pre-given uh, library paths you have n number of uh, libraries which is given here 2d layouts as well as a 3d uh, 3d footprints also has been given inside it so we will search for the frame so i'll just go and type in the search box frame it's a case insensitive uh, you can go for the right spelling if you search it so i'll just click on the frame so you have n number of frames here if you, so if you look at it a3 a4 a4 s3 a4 small like we have n number of options so i'll just go to a3 lrc so i'll click on ok see this is a frame that means uh, this is the boundary so i'm not going to exceed my circuit within this area so this is for reference purpose i will not uh, go beyond this my circuit will not go beyond this so how to place you just have uh, one more origin on the screen in the black screen you got one origin so i'll zoom it in that area and i'll click on the exactly on the origin so this frame has been placed there so now you can click on escape so that the library path will go off so now uh, if i want to see 
grids so i'll go to grid section so if you see here this is the grid section so i'll click on the grid so grid pop up will open up so the display is off so i'll click on on so remember always the size of the grid must be 0.1 inches while preparing the circuit or the schematic so i'll keep it okay so just zoom in zoom out you can see you can observe the grids the grid is 0.1 inches each so in this area i am going to create my circuit so to create my circuit i need a symbols circuit for adding the components i'll have to go to add part click on the add part the same library will open so here i am going to click for transfer more first transformer so you have to choose the right spelling here just click on transformer so you have n number of transformer i choose this transformer just step down transformer so, look like. so now uh, you got the step down transformer you can use the mouse scroll to zoom in zoom out so i'll click i'll place somewhere you must place inside the frame so i just skipped i just kept inside the frame so now we'll click on, now click on press escape button so it will again switch back to library so now i'm going to search for ac jack I just search for ac jack so which is essentially an input 240 volt so i'm going to create i'm going to select ac jack so if, if i right click it will rotate so i just keep it here so click in AC jack I have selected I'll click it here and I will click on bridge rectifier so I'll go for, for a bridge see this is a bridge rectifier so if you want the right one so this looks good by the way and this is also fine so whichever parts if you want uh, you can add it from in this section I'll go with this bridge rectifier. So after the bridge rectifier, I need some capacitors. I'll go to capacitor. Types of capacitor. We'll choose uh, US standard capacitor. I need like one, two, three. So we'll so the next voltage regulator so that regulator you can type it for regulator click on the regulator so 78 uh, section is there this i'll click on the 7805 or 7812 for 12 volts and just select any one so this is the voltage regulator so apart from this uh, we need fuse if you need you can add the fuse for the protection purpose so I believe this is enough uh, right now so any parts if you require we will come back and we will add it again so first of all i will click on uh, info option then click on info then click on the component so component will always clicking on the component or symbol of an electronic component you must click on origin of the component so here you can see it's very thin so click on the origin of the components then only it will show you the property so when i click on the info click on the origin so you can see the property so now uh, i can use move button then click on the component and you can move freely so no need to drag it you can move properly so if you right click so it will rotate it's the same way the transformers i'll click on the transformers origin and i'll bring it here and then at the bridge rectifier so bridge rectifier needs to be rotated so i'll rotate it so this this could not be yes this was this position is fine for me to get the right output so we will connect with a wire if you see here uh, this is the wire so i will connect using this wire and are also called as a net i'll select the net so one thing uh, here is the first one pin number one is in the bottom side i want to make it top side so i will rotate it first and then i'll make a mirror you have an option called mirror here in the next to move so click on the mirror option 
then click on the symbol so it will be mirrored and now your pin number one will be aligned at the top side so the pin number one of the ac jack i am going to connect it to the input of the transformer primary side positive pin so the two and three will be shorted and it is connected to the negative terminal of the transformer at the primary side so this is the input 240 volts has been given to transformer transformer will reduce it to the lower voltage maybe it may be it is depending upon the transformer capacity so it may be 24 volts it may be 40 volts it may be 70 volts whatever it is but it will reduce uh, from 240 to the lower voltage so the next thing uh, this is connected to uh, the bridge rectifier so bridge rectifier positive for example if you consider it's a 40 volt ac the 40 volt ac has been given to the ac plus terminal of the trans uh, bridge rectifier and the negative terminal is connected here so the output the dc plus will be taken from here and the dc minus will be taken from this terminal so this is the preferred output of the bridge rectifier so I will use the capacitor. This capacitor is used to filter or filter the unwanted waveforms from the output of the bridge rectifier. So once that output comes, we will connect that to 40 volts, whatever the voltage, to the voltage regulator so that it should regulate it to 12 volts. If I use 7812, so I am going to use it for. 12 volt fixed linear output so this is the same signal is given to uh, the voltage regulator so again we are going to add one more capacitor outside to remove the spikes to get the clean dc so here out after c2 so we are getting the clean dc this uh, the another capacitor is not required right now so we need to add a ground for this pin so i'm going to search and go to add part click on the add part and search for the ground just type gnd also okay you can if you want you can type ground also that is also fine so i'll choose the ground symbol i'll place it here and i'll connect the net so click on the net and choose connect the connections and now this entire part the negative negative output of the bridge rectifier will be grounded so that the negative signal will be negative signal will be clipped from the waveform so now the output so to see the output we can connect the led so just uh, search for led in the section i'll go to led so click on the LED, so on LED symbol I will select it and I will clip that. For any LEDs, if you want to use it, I need a, a resistor. So I am going for a low watt resistor, 1 watt or 2 watt resistor. Any simple resistor, I will just use the symbol, later we will define its values. So I will keep uh, this LED this way and this resistor here in this way. I'll just connect this circuit so if the LED flows continuously that means you're getting DC that is a linear voltage so this is how we prepare the circuit and schematic in Eagle Cat Autodesk so now we are going to refresh all the values so uh, you have got two options here so name and R2 the 10k or whatever you option you can see here this is in for this is for name and this is r 210 k this is for value okay so we if you want to change the name of the j1 to something like uh, ac1 so i can click on the name and then click on the j1 so you can so you can change it to ac1 okay uh, currently i don't i don't want to change it to ac1 so i'll just change the value so to change the value click on the value section here the value then click on the value section and click on the components now it asks you do you want to change it anyway it's already defined the value has been defined already but if you want to change it yes i want to change it so i will change it to 240 volt ac in so i'll just try to, to 240 volt 
do for the old AC. So this is for my reference, it's do for the old AC. the old AC. So transfer more T1. I don't, I don't want to change the uh, reference the T1, uh, T1 and I will change, I want to change the value of the transfer model. Just give you 40 volt AC. And this I am giving just a output of it. So bridge rectifier. So I don't know the value. So I just keep it like that. It is a capacitor of 40 volts. 40 volts. 40 volt output the capacitor for 40 volts for somewhere around 260 microfarad if i say it's a microfarad i'll just add the value to microfarad so it is 7812 which clearly says you 7812 gives you 12 volts output. so if you want to change it you can change it i'll just change it to 12 volts c2 somewhere around so getting 12 volts c2 somewhere around 150 microfarad so we'll calculate uh, the values clearly and we'll add it. So I'll just add 150 microfarad. I just put the value of the register to 100 ohm. LED. Then you can change LED. I can go like the color of the LED. Just let's say red, uh, green, or uh, whatever color you are using on the PC. So this is how we are going to prepare a circuit, a schematic in Eagle CAD. So we'll discuss uh, uh, more regarding the net net details in the upcoming classes. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you so much.